Oh, hey, it's you again. Okay, we're here for another video, and uh, this time Rebecca Fisher is asking a question, and she's uh, referring to a previous video that I did about how to import uh, school term dates for 2021 into the Outlook calendar. So that's this video, uh, in case you haven't seen it before. Uh, I recommend you go and have a look at that to find out what that's all about because we're going to be ref referring to some of the steps that were explained in that particular video. Anyway, what she's uh, asking is um, the principal has a full version of Outlook and was able to add this to his account, but it wouldn't let him add it to the school account. So uh, what you need to understand here is that the school account is a shared mailbox. Uh, it's part of Outlook where you can add a second mailbox to your own mailbox uh, and multiple people can potentially do this um, and it allows you to have your own calendar and mailbox for uh, both your personal and for this joint account. So the question is how do you add these dates to the school calendar? So uh, these were the instructions that uh, I posted previously on how to get the 2020 school, 2021 school calendar. Uh, where to get the file and uh, follow these steps and so on, watch the video. So that was all uh, fairly clearly explained, but I didn't really get into that whole shared calendar uh, experience. So let's uh, have a look at what's involved in that. Uh, if I jump into Outlook, I actually have a shared calendar that I use as well, not a shared calendar, a shared mailbox I should say, and uh, this is my normal mailbox. But down here, I'll just move this away a little bit, uh, what you've got is this T4L News is a shared mailbox and in there I've got uh, various emails. So I can look at my, my own emails or I can look at my T4L News emails. But as well as that, I also have a shared calendar. So if I go into calendars, this is my calendar, but down here you've got an option to say show me the T4L news calendar. And that is here, it doesn't really have anything because I haven't been recording stuff into it. And what Rebecca and her principal are after is a way that we can get uh, these dates that were put into this calendar, term one, week two, and if I go back, term one, week one, school holidays, Australia Day, all these sorts of things, school development day, we want them to be shown in this shared calendar over here on the right. So how do you do that? First thing to do is to go into your calendars down here to show them and make sure that your personal calendar is turned off and you're only looking at your shared calendar and that's the empty one that you see here. And then what you do is go to file and you go to open and export. You click on import export. You tell it to import from another program you tell it to import a comma separated var value. So this is all exactly the same as in that previous video. And you browse here and you go to your downloads folder or wherever it is that you downloaded the file. Get that 2021 Outlook calendar, the same file that you downloaded previously, or you can download a fresh copy of it if you haven't got it anymore. And in this box, you go OK. Choose this option that says, um, you can say allowed duplicates or not. If you've imported it before, don't allow duplicates. Uh, choose the option that says do not import duplicates. I haven't actually imported them, so I won't have any problem with duplicates. And then go next. Uh, it's going into the calendar, exactly the same, and import that into the calendar. I could have, if I didn't select this here, I could have chosen this change destination to uh, select the other calendar. That's a bit harder to do than ticking a box. And if you go finish here, it's now importing those appointments and bang, there they are in my shared calendar. So I can jump forward and there's week three, week four, week five, etc. So they're all there. I can show both calendars and I can see that it's in both or I can show my personal one and I can see that it's in my personal calendar. Hope that helped and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.